is here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Semper, VV, also of WrestlingObserver.com. We got a million things to get into here today. Mike, are you better today? Oh, yeah. looking, looking good already. Okay, great. Actually, I'm in a great mood. Oh. I'm in a great mood. Well, that's, that's... well, okay, not a great mood. I'm in a great mood for me, which is a big step A up. terrible mood for most everybody except Vinny? Pretty much, yes, okay. actually. Why do yeah. I hire people that are so angry all the time? It's what you'd it. like to surround yourself with. I surround myself with peace. Did you guys watch this NXT show last night? So uh, I'm in a good mood. Samoa Joe is, in fact, he has returned. I'm going to tell you what happened. I'm going to tell you why I liked it so much. And then I'm going to tell you what's wacky about it. So the show opens with Regal, and Regal ended the pay-per-view in tears. It's time for a change. So he comes out, and uh, you know he's talking about... I've been here a long time, and I was here from the very beginning, and he's mumbling because he's sad. I did commentary there, and then we got to do that show, and I got to sit with my nieces in my hometown and watch it, and and he's, he's practically, he is literally crying, his tears streaming down his face. And he's about to make his big announcement when Karrion Cross comes out, and Karrion Cross. Who, well, by the way, has always been sort of like a tweener. Like, everyone always asks if Cross is a babyface or a heel. Well, they've decided now he's undoubtedly a heel. He's making fun of Regal. Look at you. You're crying. We all knew this was going to happen. And then suddenly Regal says, I never had a chance to, to make my announcement. And uh, Samoa Joe's music hits. And the place goes nuts. All 200 people or whatever. I mean, they go crazy. I might be even being facetious. They went crazy. So Samoa Joe comes out, and he says, Mr. Regal, I heard that you wanted to meet with me. And Regal says yes. And basically, Regal wants to give up power and give power to Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe says, Mr. Regal, absolutely not. I will not take this position. And so in the ring, they have a negotiation, basically. And the negotiation is, Joe says, I will, I stand by you, and I will be basically your muscle to make sure that none of this craziness happens. And Regal says, well, if you want to do that, you can, but you cannot be a wrestler, which tells me that he still cannot get cleared. You will not be a wrestler, and you cannot lay your hands on anybody unless provoked. And Karrion Cross's eyes get wide when he hears that, and... And essentially, they leave the ring, and Samoa Joe is now the uh, the enforcer for William Regal. William Regal is still the the GM of NXT. What I really liked about oh, I mean, a million things I liked about it, but what I really liked about it when thinking about it later was, it is the biggest trope in all of wrestling. And it, usually, it's I am here to apologize. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't beat you up earlier. And it's like, oh, I've only heard that 65,000 times. So Regal's out here crying, and what you're expecting is that he's going to resign his position. It doesn't end up being a swerve. It's not like he's crying and then he goes, Samoa Joe, we will now join together to make sure none of these miscreants brawl backstage anymore. No, he was crying because in storyline, he actually was going to rescind power. But Joe would not take the job, and thus they ended up with the two of them together, as if somebody texted me, the best uh, buddy cop duo ever. Now, I loved it. I loved the role for Samoa Joe. He brought life to the show. There was only two things, two things that uh, I don't want to say I didn't like, but there were two things that gave me pause. One of them was, in order for Joe to prove his role, there's a there's a pull apart almost immediately with Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly. And uh, Joe goes, hey, guys, knock it off. And in the middle of this brawl, Adam Cole pushes Joe. And so Joe just chokes his bloke out dead. Adam Cole's lying on the ground in a heap. And I was like, I understand that you need to, to uh, show us what Joe is capable of doing. But did you have to treat Adam Cole like such a geek? Well, and then they announced this big match between him and uh, Kyle O'Reilly at Great American Bash. I'm like, oh, great. 
Like, I already saw him do a blow-off, and then Joe just choked this geek out like a geek, and then you oh. announce his big match. I, I Like, there's a million guys. He could have choked out both of Ever-Rise at the same time. I mean, there's a hundred guys that guy could have choked out to show me that that's his role. He didn't have to go right to the top and make Adam Cole look like a dork. That was number one. And then the other thing that was kind of wacky is, like, throughout the show... There's like one brawl after another. Like, the whole reason that Joe was supposed to be there was to keep these geeks from brawling and getting out of control. Every five minutes there's a brawl. And Regal's still furiously trying to pull people apart. He's sweating. I'm like, this is why the guy quit. And then, like, an hour and 40 minutes in the show, they go to, I think it's Mackenzie. And she goes, Regal, seems like things have calmed down a lot since Joe came aboard. <laughs> and I'm like, they have? It's worse. Now you have the same brawls, but now Joe's killing people in the middle of the brawls. So anyway, I like what they did. I don't want to complain about it because I love Joe in the role. But it was funny that, like, the story they're telling is Joe is here because there have been too many brawls. And then they hire the guy, and there's, like, twice as many brawls immediately afterwards. These wrestlers not very smart. Well, the landscape has changed, you know? So, we're okay. Now, maybe Mr. Regal is, is a little bit more okay with these brawls taking place since he's not the only one trying to break him up with this lame-ass security that they obviously have. Those guys can't do anything. That's what leads to all of these brawls. They don't have that place sectioned off very well. They have people way too close to each other who may be fighting. I mean, look at the, the women on the way to the ring, Ember and Shotzi. Like, they're, like, right by Gorilla, like, screaming and trying to start a fight with uh d with uh uh raquel and and dakota so i mean you know there's a lot of holes you could punch through as to what is going on in that place and i understand what you're saying about cole but i think to get it across right away i think it's okay because it's adam cole and because it's samoa joe and now i definitely want to see him choke out both members of ever rise at the same time that i would love to see but I think, I don't want to say Cole is bulletproof, but I think in this particular case, if you wanted to make sure uh, Joe is here and Joe is going to put hands on everyone and kill everyone at the behest of Stephen Regal or with William Regal, this is what we're going to do. So I, I was completely fine with that. And they did a couple of tired things that are usually tired. You know, the 15-minute opening to begin the show. We had in the next match, we had a small package, and then we had that pull apart, all things that we see a zillion times on wrestling shows, especially in WWE, and I thought they all worked. I thought last night was a really good show on a lot of levels, and I've been talking for God knows how long here about what can they do to provide some spark for NXT. They got some, and they obviously still need wrestlers, too. They still need storylines that, that are going to be able to catch on. But the presence of Samoa Joe now makes the show, at least the way he's been positioned, now it makes the show, I don't want to say a little bit more must-see, but I think people that may wait and watch it on the DVR or may blow it off, maybe watch something else, maybe they want to do see what happens live because Joe may be doing something or killing somebody. Or Again, it just felt like it got a, a, a real injection of, of energy last night and a big name and a, and a star, and a real star in Samoa Joe having his presence there. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.